welcome back to my channel it's Marisa I hope everyone is having a wonderful day it is very early in the morning for some reason I have been awake since 4 a.m. so I decided it is now about 7 30 in the morning so I decided to start uh, doing this a little earlier uh, today so I just want to welcome everyone and welcome uh, my new subscribers. Thank you so, so much to everyone who is watching and has subscribed recently. Thank you so much. And thank you to all my subscribers. Anyway, so I just want to, let's start off by showing you how these dried. Now you see, uh, I did six yesterday. Um... The one that I did not like is not up here because the paint really did not adhere to the canvas at all. I mean like on the edges, it just, ugh, there, there must have been silicone on there. And that one actually had a lot of texture on it and I think I, that was probably already a repour so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. That may be one for the garbage, I don't know. But anyway, these all dried beautifully. I am in love. They're so clear and I just love them. These colors are gorgeous and they really... This is why another reason why I love Primal Flow and speaking of Primal Flow, I am waiting. My order should be coming today. I just got a notification. It was already up for delivery, but it's said to be expected by 4.45 p.m., which kind of sucks because I wanted to use it right away, but sometimes I get lucky. And actually a lot of, not the regular mail, but like packages actually have usually come around 8 in the morning. So I'm hoping that very soon I will be getting my package, but it could come later today. And so that will stink, but we we'll, shall see, you know. So anyway, these dry beautifully. I am super, super happy. And as I was saying, they're one of the reasons why I love Primal Flow is because they just dried exactly the way I left it. They don't get darker, they don't get muted, the paint doesn't crack. It, there were a little bit of bubbles, um, air bubbles, when I was doing the first layer, but very quickly um, they get torched right out. I mean, it just, and it really works well with almost any other paint. So today I think I am going to varnish these because these are worthy of varnishing. So I'm going to varnish those with the uh, my Tri-Art. I really need some more. I only have a little bit left. But this bottle lasted me, I think, for four or five months because um, I have so many other mediums. So I don't use that one all the time. And this one is okay as a pouring medium, but I actually like it better as a uh, varnish. So I got my E600, but guess what? I got the wrong one. I am a dingus. I <laughs> I got it in black, which is fine because it says it's paintable. If you can see that, what's flexible here? It is paintable. So um, I mean, I still can use it, but I wanted to use it more for jewelry, like to take a um, to get some of those jewelry pieces and put. Um, some uh, acrylic, the dripping, the skins, um, and cut them and put in the little jewelry pieces and then put the E600 over it. So I'm going to have to get another bottle of this, two of the clear, but I am going to use this and I did. I can use this for other things, so it's fine. And then like I said, it's paintable, so that's all good. And then this one dry, beautiful. I'm actually going to varnish this one as well and then to finish the back off. So that's that. So what I wanted to show you, I made another little collection of these skull pieces. And this time, where is it? I don't have it here. I know I can't find it. But anyway, it is Liquitex um, acrylic ink in this gorgeous pink color. And I literally just used a drop. This is the Liquid Diamonds resin. And I it was just like the last bit of it. So I used that up. And I put some glitter in there, some of that fairy glitter in there. I mean, I love these. And I really love the fact that I actually am making my own jewelry. I think this is like really, really cool for me. 
Um, and I love the fact it's like a finished product now. You know, you have the little pin in there, and then the little, I mean, the hook, and then my, I've got this the cord, and I'm making, you know, the magnets. I really, I'm really, really loving it. I haven't put these um, cords in yet, but I just want to show you I have another little collection. So that is done. So I'm just, I'm really loving these molds. And speaking of more molds, so these are the molds that I just got. I think this was $12.99 for the whole set. And these are really, really cool. Because I'm like thinking about like what people like um, at these fairs. And I know for a fact that I, I mean, I know for me, I love stuff with my horoscope sign on it. Um, I am a Taurus and I actually have a huge bowl tattoo on my back. Um, but anyway, these are all molds from the Zodiac and they're all different. I don't know if you could see this. This one, yeah, I'm going to flip it. This one, if I can I think it focus, you're not going to really be able to see, but it has the constellation here and it also has the name of the sign. So it'll be like Taurus and then the Taurus um, constellation. So that is really cool. And then it has a hole already pre-made for like a necklace, a little pendant. And then what I'm going to do is paint like gold or silver or something. I'm going to paint in the word. So that's Leo a sign. So I'm going to paint like gold or silver in the words and in the, um, sorry about the cord, um, in the constellation as well. So that, I love those. Um, like I said, I'm like trying to prepare for the spring and summer. Maybe some, even maybe back on my Etsy shop. I don't know, but you know, um, I can, you know, sell these to friends and family. Like I said, um, craft shows, maybe flea markets, who knows? But I think that a lot of people do like horoscope stuff. So these are really pretty. These are the symbols of each um, zodiac. Uh, actually, you can see that one better. This is a really nice mold. Um, they're going to be very, very shiny. See those? So, so each zo uh, symbol of zodiac uh, has its own symbol. Each sign has its own symbol, excuse me. So that is really cool. And then these are just the uh, star constellations. I don't know if you can see that. No, that is the number. Here you go. See? So I could paint in right there. I could paint in all the little stars. And I like these. These are deep. Um, obviously, there's 12 of them. Every, every sign of the zodiac is represented here. So what I like about these is I can make uh, pendants and I can make um, magnets as well because they're deep enough for both. So I love that. So these are just really for the pendants and this is for pendants and magnets. Yeah, so it's my uh, Let's Resin again. And yeah, I really, I'm really enjoying these. And I'm just like thinking about what, what a lot of people do like. A lot of people like personalized stuff. My son already put in his order. He said, I want purple and black, and he's a cancer. So I'm like, okay, I'll make you one. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I'm getting new resin on Friday. So that I am excited for as well. This time, I, blow, I bought the, um, it's called Clear Cast, and it's the 750. There's a 7,000 and the 750. I accidentally bought the 750, but actually it's not a bad thing. Um, the 750 is for like extra UV protection. I thought it was actually you need a UV light to make it, which I don't have. But anyway, um, the channel Naptime Creations, and you've heard me talk about her channel a few times already. Um, she actually has her own code for the ClearCast, um, and that's one of the reasons why I bought it is because I actually saw her use it and it was really good um, and she also has a code for 20% off and this resin is actually very reasonable um, for a 48 ounce kit it was only $32 and then with 20% off so that was really good you know so um, 
yeah, if you're interested, go and check her out. I'm, you know, I'm sure when you use the code, she gets a little something for her, but I don't mind because I'm getting 20% off, you know, so I am more than happy to support another artist, you know, because um, she's actually helping me out. So I really love these molds. I think they're going to be awesome. I cannot wait to get started. And so that is it for now, guys. I'm going to come back. Hopefully a little later and let you know, update you on the package because today I actually wanted to start using, I just want to show you really, really quickly what I got in my package. I already told you I got eight bottles of paint. I want to show you, you saw some of the colors before, so I'll skip over those quickly. Um, I'll show you the colors I did not get and the, um, the micas and the glass I bought. So it's really, really nice. Oh yeah, and these are up here. These are the roses that um the, the dried roses now my husband got me for valentine's day so i dried them and basically i want to start using it in my resin art so i got some baby breath i got some lean so yeah so that's it for now guys i will be back later hopefully but i'll be back regardless and update you on what's going on but for now i think i'm going to work on these and then at the very least, I will show you, um, you know, I'm going to show you these uh, varnished. And uh, at the very least, hopefully, um, I can show you what I got in my package. And um, if the worst thing is that tomorrow I'll actually uh, make something with my new paints and stuff. Alrighty. Alright, guys, I will see you in a little while. Bye. Hey guys, I am back. You hear all that noise in the background? My son literally has nine of his friends here. So I hope I don't catch any curse words. I'm going to have to bleep them out. Anyway, here is just a part of my order. This is the jade resin. I'm going to come back later because it is way too noisy in this house. Yeah, you got the chunky mermaid glitter and you got the neon pink glass and you have the candy apple red pigment all right guys i'll be back in a little while because it is way too loud in this house thank you prima flow hey guys i am back again my son's friends just left they're actually a great group of kids so i don't mind they just had a big test so they need to blow some steam anyway so I just want to show you these really quick these came out beautiful I uh, varnished these with only one coat so far so that is drying and yeah so that's that so I'm gonna walk you over to where all my stuff is because I just want to chill on my couch today and so I showed you this already all right, so here is this beautiful, look at that. I got some stuff that was like supposedly kind of not going to be sold anymore, like final last chance. So this is the Mermaid Chunky Glitter. This is the Candy Apple Mica Pigment. I cannot wait to use this. This is, focus, there you go. Jedi. I, whatever mica pigment I cannot wait to use this and the neon pink glass chips I am so excited all right so you saw that that is awesome some of them were on sale and I don't remember how, my, how much everything was but this whole order I actually saved $36 so that is awesome all right, so some of these colors you've seen me, but this color right here, it is gorgeous. This is, you better see it now while this bottle is clean, because by tomorrow it's gonna be filthy. Uh, this is the Royal Violet. Look at that, how gorgeous that is. All right, and you've seen me use this one. This is the Sunshine. I had to get another bottle of this. Look how beautiful those two are together. And this is a new one too. This is cobalt turquoise. Um, yeah, I just got some more white. I had to take advantage, but I want to get one free, honey. 
I love this black. The shimmer black is literally one of my favorite blacks I have ever used. So that's that back there. And then, all right, so this is the Pacific Navy. So the blue I have is not Pacific Navy. I have still don't know what color that is. That is a brighter blue, but I've seen someone use this. Maybe Naptime Creatures, I'm not sure. Uh, this is gorgeous with the gold. Oh, well, this I'm going to show you next. This is a really beautiful color. Um, here is the ink and gold. I am in love with this. And I heard this is really, really gorgeous. I mean, look at with these colors here and with this navy. Ooh, honey, that's beautiful. All right, and the last one, and this is a new color that I haven't had before, is spring green. So I may get this in my next box, but I don't care because I really want to build up my collection. Um, these paints are freaking awesome. One bottle of like, last me all month so and actually longer than a month I mean depending on how much I use it because I do switch up with different paints so that's great and I could also use a medium and stretch it out so I am really really excited so I mean look at these gorgeous colors I am so excited guys yeah so tomorrow I just this is gonna be kind of a quick video today um, the timing was just off. Um, I was waiting for this package. Uh, the first half of the video was done like at 7.30 in the morning. It is now 2.30 in the afternoon. And, you know, it's a little late. So, um, yeah. Uh, anyway, so tomorrow uh, I am thinking... I am definitely, I am definitely, definitely, definitely going to use these colors. Yeah, I'm probably going to do some more blooms tomorrow. I know I've been doing a lot of them, but they have been coming out so gorgeous. Um, I definitely want to use these colors, especially. Um, but I'm going to, you know, have a little party with the rest of these. And then on Friday, when my... Um, resin comes you know either over the weekend whatever I am gonna use this I love this color because I want to make some uh, jewelry kind of like quote-unquote uh, jade jewelry but like resin art so that's that will be cool and then I'm gonna use some coasters oh yeah one more thing I made another coaster and this I also used with the Liquitex that beautiful, uh, like, rosy uh, pink color. I, I, it could be a magenta. I'm not sure, but I put the silver uh, glass chips in here. And um, I forgot what kind of glitter this is. Uh, this may be the unicorn glitter or something, but this came out really pretty. Look at that. It's really beautiful, right? So I made another coaster. Yeah. So, honestly, guys, that is it for today. Today was a little off with my timing, so I really wanted to make something today, but this video is getting too long already. So, tomorrow, like I said, um, I will be making uh, some blooms, some more blooms. I really love the bloom technique. They are really coming out absolutely gorgeous with the Primal Flow and that Cell Topper. Um, they're just gorgeous, and I'm just dying to use these colors. All right, so tomorrow we're going to have a party. All right, so uh, thanks, guys, so much for watching today. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Don't forget to follow me on social media. All the links are down below. And, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Have a great day.